So you never viewed failure as, I, I always viewed, first of all, I don't like the word failure. Mm. Okay, I always looked at it as, if this didn't work, it's a learning experience. How am I gonna figure it out and do better the next time? Or, um, okay, this didn't work, I gotta get on to something else. So you have that entrepreneurial spirit and that determination and motivation. That's what started you on this path right now. It's always been work, work, yeah, work, work, work. Absolutely. And how did it get to the point where, okay, this is working and now I got this. What was it? What was it that you and Andrew started? The big score for me and Andrew, and probably the happiest day of my life, even to this day, I remember it. We were always in sales and we worked sales jobs. And the first time I ever tasted real money, we used to sell television advertising campaigns. Mm. We'd call companies that don't advertise on TV and we try to sell them a campaign. So my brother didn't like the guys he worked for. Him and another senior salesman started a new company doing exactly the same thing so they could be in control of the company. And I was working for them as a salesman. And me and my brother were the first people in the UK to bring an electronic cigarette onto television advertising. There was a bunch of walls. All these people wanted to advertise on TV. And we had this really good agent who was in charge of a process called ClearCast, which is checking the advertising standards and seeing if a product can be advertised on TV, TV or not. And the company, I'm not gonna say the company's name, they've probably gone out of business by now, was the first electronic cigarette company ever, ever to be advertised on TV because we managed to bend the rules to get the advert through. Mm -hmm. A couple months later, so me and Andrew made a, a, a lot of money. I mean, to us back then, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars $40,000 each on this big deal, this million dollar deal, and we were super happy. And we assumed that we made it. We thought, okay, no, we've killed it now because every month this guy's gonna give us this much money. We're on seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars a month now combined. Mm -hmm. So it's month one, we've got this money, what do we do? Let's buy an Aston Martin. Let's How buy old a car. Are you? I'm now <laughs> I'm twenty two. No, no, no. I'm twenty-three and a half. Twenty-three and a half at this point. So I'm like, I know, let's buy an Aston Martin because next month <laughs> we can logical, we right? can buy a house and next month after that, it's all good, don't worry. So we take all of our money and we buy the secondhand supercar. And at 22 years of age, I had so much faith in myself. Obviously I had faith that this deal was gonna work and I'd now made it and I was gonna be living good forever. But I had faith in myself where I decided, let's take the plunge and spend this all on the car because don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna work this out at <laughs> the end. So we take this car from the Aston Martin dealership in Cambridge, it's secondhand, five or six years old, but it was a drop top Aston Martin Vantage that we owned outright, no mm -hmm. payments, no finance, no nothing. And I, remember dri and I remember driving home with my brother in that car to our crappy rented apartment in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> and I had the biggest smile on my face and that may well be the happiest day of my life. And the saddest day of my life was probably 29 days later when ClearCast, the Advertising Standards <laughs> Agency, set, put a blanket ban on all electronic cigarette products on TV. I lost the contract, lost the deal. Three months later, I remember looking at that car outside, not having money to put gas in it, just thinking, well, that was stupid. But that was that was our, um, and then obviously because we had that car, we did sell it and we did have that capital. That's That $60,000, $70,000 was very useful for uh, the, the kickstart we needed. But that was after years and years of selling TV advertising campaigns for coffee, lip balm, making three or $4,000 a time. But that was the first time I ever felt like I was rich. And in theory, I was. And it all went wrong 29 days after that, yeah. We were the only, I think that's the only electronic cigarette brand ever to run an advert on British television. <laughs> and that was the, the, the story of how I, I bought my first supercar, I guess. But that was the first- Did you sell the car afterwards? We ended up, we, we, we kept it for a year and a bit. And we got to a point where we did in fact need to sell it. We needed to sell it. And uh, yeah, we did sell it. And, um, but that was a very, very long time ago. But mm -hmm. even, the, even the arrogance I had to believe this money's coming in is gonna last forever. It wasn't so much arrogance in, this company or this deal mm -hmm. it, was, it was more i guess faith in ourselves that we knew one day that taking this plunge wasn't going to hurt us i, I don't mm -hmm. look on that back on that day with regret like man i should have invested that money somewhere else i should have spent it on something else and i'm in the position that i knew i would be in looking back on it and now i've i've got five aston martins mm -hmm. amongst 60 other cars like yeah. it, it's not a thing to buy one anymore and the joy is gone i was it's, gonna say do you, what does it mean to you now to it, own those cars it's super nice it's really nice to buy those cars and i enjoy them and i love driving and i'm a big motorsports guy and i love driving my cars however no feeling will ever compare to on that 
relatively cold spring English day with the roof down with my brother driving that first ever Aston Martin mm. back to our council estate in our mm -hmm. bad neighborhood knowing that we'd probably have to you know fight off attackers at some point <laughs> that was that was the best feeling I, in the world I think that was the happiest day of my life and I'm pretty happy I'm a pretty happy guy uh -huh. like I love life but that's probably my best ever memory yeah and that's, that's the a first, great memory yeah, that's the first yeah, time I, I ever it. remember feeling rich and yeah. it was nice <laughs> okay